Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing a warns.js tutorial. So a lot of people have been asking for this, so I'm doing it now. I've already recorded this like um, twice, I think, and each time was 25 minutes uh, plus, so I just figured that I'd just leave the code here and explain it instead of typing it all out. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video will be like sub 10 minutes around. So um, yeah, let's get started. So obviously we're going to be requiring the important things mongo discord.js in uh, our warn schema next use exports.run our command handler define the guild that you're going to be fetching emojis from check to see if they have managed messages so if they're not a staff then make sure that they cannot see who warned them and then down here if they are a staff then we're going to be make sure that they can see who warned the user that they specify we also want to make sure that if the person if they're not a staff and they try and mention someone or display a user ID, then we're gonna make sure that we tell them that they do not have permission to view the warnings of other users. So this is gonna be constant. So basically this is just gonna be message.member because they can't view it, um, view the warns of anyone else. So it's just gonna be them. So we're gonna fetch the member. If there is no member, then member is equal to null. And then after that, uh, var info m. So this is our info emoji. And we're fetching it from our emoji guild that we specified um, up here. And we're going to define our guild ID, our user ID. And we're going to fetch our member using the user ID. Then we are going to connect to Mongo. We're not going to use try finally in this first one because we do not want a topology error. Which means that we close it um, before we use it again. Because we're going to be uh, opening the connection twice. So if we do try finally the first time and do try finally the second time then we're gonna get an error for that. So make sure that you do not have try finally for the first one. So instead, we're gonna be doing await mongo.then, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna find all of the results for if it's guild ID and user ID. And um, yeah, so then we're gonna specify an empty array and then var num is equal to results at length. So this is basically just how many results are, are, are for the user. So for example, if they got one three times, then after that, uh, it's gonna say three for the number, or four, because I added one here. And uh, we're starting at one instead of zero. So in our for loop, basically we're going to be pushing all of um, the results that we get into one huge array of uh, separate objects. And um, yeah, so just make sure to copy all this stuff down. Um, it's pretty simple. And then after that, we're going to be having a placeholder for our reply. And then for const warning object of array two, uh, you're going to destructure all this stuff from the warning object. Uh, so this is basically just the object that is in the array. So there's going to be multiple of these if they have multiple warns. So for each of these in the array, we're going to be doing this. So we're going to be reply plus equal and then um, we're gonna make sure that it says undisclosed information due to lock it permission. And then um, just all this different stuff with all the information. You don't have to copy it word by word, but um, yeah, just make sure that it displays all the information necessary. So we create an embed, uh, all warning information, blah, blah, blah. Message.channel.send, and then we're gonna catch the error. So if the error code is uh, 50,006, that means that they do not have any warnings because the error code would be um, for the, it cannot send an empty embed. So if it is that, then we know that they do not have any warnings. So we're just gonna send, you do not have any warnings and then catch the error. Next, we're gonna be doing the part where um, we check for staff. So if this is a staff member, then we wanna make sure that they can uh, find the warnings for a user, like a separate user other than themselves. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna switch this up a bit. So our target is so we could get arc zero but if there is no arc zero then it's it could be them so message.member um but we also have message.mention.users.fr so so here we're going to be using a bunch of ternaries and we're going to make sure that we can get the correct user id so let me actually get rid of this one because um i tested this earlier and now the ternaries work before they didn't so Basically, um, mention e is message.mention.users.first. So a ternary is basically a cleaner way to do an if else. And um, so I'm just gonna explain this. So 
our mention is equal to so if there is a message that mentioned that users that first then our mention is assigned to the ID of the mention that user mentioned message that mentioned that users that first otherwise if there is not message that mentioned that users that first it's arg zero next user ID is set equal to so if there is an arg zero then just set the user ID as arg zero because that's the the user ID if there is no arg zero and there's no message that mentioned that users that first then it sets message the author the ID so then we finally fetch them as a member from their from the user ID and um, then we just check to see if they're in the guild or if it even exists so if it's not so if not message that guild that member for the user ID then please specify valid user mention or ID so then we just do the exact same thing here except to remember that you have this try and then finally mongo.connection.close so everything else is practically the same except for the fact that we do reply plus equal warn author and then we actually excuse me uh specify the author so that they can see who actually warned the the user so that should be it i think this is it for the warns come in okay so we are now in discord and i will actually have to warn my friend because i forgot to do that because i cleared all of his warns uh, earlier so just warn him for a bunch of stuff Okay, and now we can check his warns using this. And here we have everything. Joe, Tess, for YT, as a time, punishment ID, as everything. So then I can also do this. And it says that I do not have any current warnings. And let me just ping him and say, warn me for YT. So yeah, I'll, I'll cut to when he actually warns me. Okay, so he has just warned me. So let me check my warnings. Warns, and as you can see, um, when I don't specify anyone, it's just me. So it has my avatar and everything. Sup. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.